What's going on everybody? Today we're going to epoxy the deer head that we mounted about a week or so ago. I don't even remember what day that was we mounted this deer. But it's about dried up now and ready for some epoxy. So I'm gonna get my camera mounted up, get my epoxy ready, and I'm gonna show y'all how I epoxy these deer. A few days we'll come back and we'll paint him up. Let's get rolling. That's what I use is epoxy sculpt. It's two part epoxy. There's an A and a B, you mix them together 50-50, get your epoxy, and then you can pack your deer and it will harden like concrete. Always get me a bowl of water too. That way you can, as you wet that epoxy, you can smooth it down. It gives it a good finished look. All right, let's start out with about this much. A little bit more there. There we go. Let's roll that up and roll it together. It'll blend right together real nice. Move it till it's all the same color. All right, let me see if I can get this thing where y'all can see it here. What I'll do is give me a little roll of this. Like that right there. Take my tucking tool. Just lay it right inside of that eye. And you'll just mash epoxy in wherever there's any gap at all. Even where there's not much of a gap, you'll just take this and push it in there. Just pack it in there as good as you can. It'll smoothen up that edge when you go to paint it and finish it. Get some more, put in the tear duct. All right, then what I like to do, get a little bit of water with your tucking tool. Wet that epoxy. And just run it right down the edge of the eye in one motion, just like that. Smooth it on out. Do the same thing with the tear duct. Let 
And y'all know I love to use my shirt to finish these things. I'm sure y'all have seen me do it before on several videos. <laughs> Wipe it clean, keep that eye clean. You won't have to go back and mess with it later. See how that right there looks? It's got all that filled in. We're gonna do the nostril. Raise this up just a bit where I can get to it here. If y'all need to look at reference photos to do this, there's plenty of them online. And you can see the shape of how the, the nostril is and how it goes on up into the sinus cavity. You just wanna take that epoxy and rebuild that shape and then build you a little bit of a septum in there. Once I get enough in there, Wet that tucking tool, starting the end right there. Make a hole where that sinus cavity goes up in there. I'll take that tool, and this is shaped like a little spoon almost, and spin it and pull it out like that. Get rid of the excess. Smooth that edge down. Make sure that edge is real smooth where you got a good transition right there. When you go to paint it, you won't be able to see any of that, any of that edge. Just like that. See right here. A little bit of a place that's going to need a repair. Put some epoxy on that. Build it back up where it's even with the rest of the hide, where it's smooth. Just a little bit of water, smooth that out. Once that dries, you put you a little dot of glue on it and a little bit of flocking, and it'll look just like that hair. When you go back over it, when you airbrush, you can airbrush over that and it won't show up. corner of this eye right here was cut whenever it was caked. So we can do the same thing with it that we we're going to do on the front of that nose right there. I'm going to add epoxy to build it back up. And then once all that dries, we'll add flocking so that it looks like hair again.
like that. This is another one of those things too, y'all, that I've seen it done a hundred different ways online. And this just turned into the way that I like to do it the best. It, I'm more, I guess, familiar with, with epoxy, this kind of epoxy than I am some of the others. And this technique I just feel more comfortable with. That's what you're going to want to do is whatever, whatever you're more comfortable with, use that because you're going to end up being better with what you're familiar with. It's kind of like guys that like to use Bondo in the ears. I just, I don't like using Bondo just because I don't like Bondo. but you'll find a way that this works the best for you and just go with that. You're supposed to be doing this because you enjoy it, right? deer up a little bit and do this bottom lip when you do that lip see if I can get a little bit of light here when you tuck that lip you want to make sure that that bottom lip stays tucked up there pretty snug as it dries has a tendency to come down a little bit if you'll if you'll check it you know every day or so and and make sure that it stays tucked up in there until it dries really good it'll look a lot nicer but i still take you a little bead of epoxy be quite that much And just shape it. A piece of hair in there. There we go. Shape it. You know, similar to that bottom lip. And put it right there on that crease. Get my tucking tool. And press that up into that where the two lips meet. Fill in any gap that's there. Get some water to smooth it out. On the bottom, you just want to make sure that you keep that trimmed along that, that lip line so you don't end up with a whole bunch of extra epoxy on here. You don't want that lip looking looking big keep it looking natural i'll take this make a little bit of a indention right there so it looks like that natural lip where the mouth closes a little more water Just 
just like that. And guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, there just isn't a whole lot to it. If you'll take your time, take your time every day to go back as these deer are drying. You can see I've got them along this wall right here. And I even, <laughs> I even got this guy right here. Set out here in the sun drying. <laughs> Gets a little bit, a little bit faster. You get a good sunny day like that helps to dry them up a little quicker. But if y'all come every every day as that deer dries, if you'll work with that face and and groom it, clean it, you know, get any glue, epoxy, uh, not epoxy, but uh, modeling clay, anything else that gets on there. If you'll if you'll take the time every day to kind of groom and and fix and poop and prod and you know just mess with that deer, then over a period of days, it just starts to take shape. And I mean, y'all saw how fast I mounted this deer. I mean, it didn't take me long at all to put it on a form. And I even had one guy comment on that video talking about how uh, that whole job just looks sloppy. Well, I mean, when you mount a deer in an hour and 30 minutes, it's gonna look sloppy. But when you go back, take in the consideration, the hours that you, you mess with it, you know, over the next week or so, I mean, it's actually, you know, I mean, it takes, it takes a lot more time than just that hour and a half of putting it on a form, but you're going to make a nice looking deer out of it. But you can see where it fills in all those gaps. It's got a little bit, I got to, I have to trim right there just a, just a little bit. But once all that dries, I mean, it's going to fill in all those gaps. What I like to do is, after that epoxy dries, if you'll take your little bead of, uh, I use super glue gel. You can use Mod Podge too, but Mod Podge is a little bit thin. And it'll want to flatten out on there, but the super glue, the gel super glue, you can run a bead along there and it actually gives a little bit of a, almost like a flesh texture. A look to it and when you paint over it it'll have a little roll right there it just looks nice just a little bit you know something that's easy to do that that look good but anyway that was easy enough wasn't it I think y'all can do that so hey a few days come back and we'll uh we'll paint it up finish it see y'all next time